Hey there, it's Sarah, your Socially Awkward Seller, and I am bringing to you another haul video. And um, I brought one last week. I did one like over the weekend. I don't know when it was, a few days ago, five days ago, something like that. Yeah, we'll call it five days ago. Um, and actually I have sold part of that stuff and I have listed all of the hard goods that I had in that video. I haven't listed all the clothes yet, but I'm getting to that. And then um, the, those dog prints, uh, a friend of mine contacted me, you know who you are, um, and said she wanted those. So um, I sold the dog prints for $50. I'm really happy about that. So today I hit a Goodwill and a Volunteers of America. And I picked up some goodies, some clothes, some hard goods, mostly, I would say mostly hard goods. And uh, I thought I'd show you what I bought. Um, and soon I will be continuing the, the new, new reseller series. I know I keep saying that. I just haven't had time to film, film the video. Um, and also a, a, a sales video. So um, the first thing I want to show you is this. It is a like a hanging file cabinet. And I haven't decided if I will use this for myself um, for personal use or if I will put some of the paper goods that I've been buying in this to make them easier to find. Uh, I have been buying some vintage greeting cards um, and some sheet music. So I thought maybe that would be a good filing system. Haven't decided yet. I think I paid five, six dollars for that. And then I found two of these at um, the thrift today. One of them's new, one of them's used. Um, these are the Pampered Shift cookie presses. These are not the like battery powered ones. These are hand operated. And uh, um, I like to sell these cookie presses, but like I said, one of them's new, one of them's not. I will probably list the new one on Amazon and the used one over on eBay. And I don't look for those to sell probably until closer to the holidays. You never know though. Um, you know, I guess in theory, people don't only make um, cookies for the holidays. Um, I know that Ramadan is coming and there are cookie exchanges for that as well. So maybe I could sell one before then. Um, I bought these uh, clog, professional like clogs. Um, these are Clarks, I paid $3.99 for those. I will, I've not priced anything really. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get 20 to 25 for those. I bought these, like patent, um, animal print and they're like the platform heels and these are by um, a company called soft with two F's um, and these were well I don't have my glasses these were 429 the other shoes were 429 too I just forgot that they went up on their prices recently um, which is not still not bad for a pair of shoes. They only went up 30 cents. I'm not complaining. Um, I haven't figured out exactly what brand this is for, uh, but I only bought the actual jar. This is a plastic um, blender jar that I believe is for a margarita maker or a frozen drink maker dispenser. And I paid $2.99 for this. And I'm hoping to get about $20 for it. But again, I'll have to figure out what brand it is. Uh, let's see. Oh, a couple odds and ends for me. But this is label tape for Brother P-Touch. And um, I paid $0.99. Cents. It looks like these sell for about $11 shipped on eBay. But they do sell, and it's not going to be hard to list that. So um, I went ahead and bought that. I bought this. This is for me. You know, it's a, uh, like a Parmesan cheese sprinkler, but I'm going to put toothpicks in it and use that as a toothpick dispenser. I paid 99 cents for that and paid 99 cents for this paint roller that I needed this morning because I painted my bedroom. Finally, bought some art for that today that I'll show you. 
Um, I did paint it like a dark gray. Um, and it looks pretty nice. And thank you, Chris, for driving up two hours to help me do that. We knocked it out in about two and a half hours. That was wonderful. A lot of cut in in this room because there's a lot of, a lot of angles. Um, this is a Yankee Candle Potpourri with shells in it. And I um, bought that for Holly. I paid $2.99 for this. This is a lot of seven Ninja Turtle puzzles. I'm not sure if that'll sell or not, but I got seven Grand Boys. So, you know, if it doesn't sell, that's fine with me. Grand Boys will love it. Um, vintage Tupperware. I have such a thing for vintage Tupperware, but I try not to buy as much of it as I would like. Just because, you know, I don't have enough space for all the stuff. And let's be real. There's two of us here. We don't usually have this many leftovers. But I did buy this. Um, and I paid $2.99 for this. And it's just a, um, just a leftover container. Let's see. I picked this up today. I paid $1.99 for it. Um, it's this engineering book. It's actually not a book. It goes in a three ring, three ring binder. It is new. It's sealed, but their cell, the cellophane has some damage. Um, I looked this up on, uh, Amazon. It has a rank of about 3.8 million, but it sells for about $55 used. It's not going to sell tomorrow. It's going to take a while. It may even take a year to sell, but it will sell eventually. So I will list that as used, uh, very good because the cellophane is damaged. And for all you folks, you f old fogies that are my age, I bought this reading book from like second grade. Um, and I just remember the art. This is similar to the art that they had um, in my reading books when I was in school. When I was just a tot in school. Um, and like, look at this. This is fantastic. Um, but I thought my grandsons that I read to would like this. We'll see. I bought a lot of framed art today. I bought these two little guys. Really cute. Um, I'm going with like a Paris theme in my bedroom. Um, so, because I've got this great vintage looking um, balloon picture like um like hot air balloon picture that uh will go over the head of my bed and and these are like similar colors so i bought those for two dollars each and then i bought these for resale um and these are little framed honey um hummingbird prints and if you're interested in any of this stuff of course you can contact me um i paid a dollar a piece for these and I'm probably going to price them around $25. They are adorable. They're marked um, $25 for the set. They are marked $14.99 on the back, but look at those great hummingbird and, and botanical shots. So if you're interested in those, give me a holler and we'll figure out what shipping costs. Bought this for my bedroom. Again, it's got that kind of antique Parisian look to it. And I, I told uh, Chris when she was here today that if I could find a picture with a penny farthing bicycle in it, you know, that would be a perfect thing for the room. This is not a penny farthing bicycle, but it is an antique bicycle. So it's close, close, but no cigar. Um, I bought these four prints for um, resale as well. These are marked $29.99 from Kohl's, which means they probably sold for about $15. Um, but they are framed um, wine prints with kind of a pewter frame. That one says Chianti. Here is Shiraz. And finally, Merlot. We are not drinking Merlot. Let me put these down. And these are approximately 12 by 12. And then this little print, 
I thought was darling and it looks like it's got a vintage tag on the back it says that it is this is a Turner wall accessory um, and it does not have like the price the original price but I paid 90 cents for this found some um, chafing dishes and stands for my nephew's wedding because you know why not save a few bucks we're catering it ourselves why not um, this is a darling like really really darling um, it is not a brand that will um, usually sell it's a city studio and it is a size small but look at this cute little dress with the owl print adorable very cute um, and I paid not much for this this was on on sale I paid a dollar fifty for that so I don't feel so pressured to like get thirty dollars for it um, I can get 15 to 16 to 17 to 8 you know who knows for that and be okay this is uh, Everly and I thought this would be great like cruise wear it's this I don't even know what you call this I have to look it up but it's got this collar this tie around the neck um, it's got sort of a keyhole detail there and then it's just a cute little skirt with these palm palm trees on them and my husband is flying home tomorrow and I'm so ready to see him he's been gone for two weeks and his flight lands at nine o'clock tomorrow night so a lot of work got to be happening here today because I've been living kind of like a bachelor and it's not exactly as clean as I would like it. So I've got to take care of that today. Um, this is Etro. And I paid $1.50 for this. And I thought this was kind of cute. The top is like a cotton, uh, a, like a knit with this cool embroidery on the front, like cross stitch on the front. And then the bottom is probably a polyester or a rayon um, blue blend really really nice I like that and this is a size whatever I Lord help me my eyes are failing I think it's a medium there's the back let's see not a huge haul but there's some money to be made here I know I've gotten way more choosy with my clothes I don't pick up as much just because it's the brand um, I like it to be cute and be the brand this was four dollars and it's by sage and it doesn't say what size it is but it's this cute little like shift dress with this paisley floral pattern um, and I think it's probably a three-quarter sleeve but it might be a full-length sleeve uh, and I'm thinking this is a small really cute and this is a Tina Trina Turk I paid two dollars for it and I just love this I wish it was my size I might be convinced to keep it but it is a size 8 which I am NOT really cute for summer though a little knit dress um, and then finally, the last thing I picked up was this Abaya or Kaftan or Moo Moo. If you, I think this is more of an Abaya. And uh, it's got like these rhinestone details on the front with all of this embroidery. And then it's got the embroidery detail on the sleeves um, and then a great like animal print down the the length of it I think this is probably a large because I don't see a, a tag in it um, but 
I paid three bucks for this and I should be able to get 20 for it. Um, and if you don't know, an abaya is the, like that long dress that you see Muslim wearing, women wearing, you know, that covers down to their ankles and it's long sleeve. So, you know, I will try and sell that. And then finally, um, just some tongs for my brother, my nephew's wedding. I keep saying like my son, my, bre my brother, he's my nephew. I'm um, getting married in September, so um, pretty excited about that for him. Uh, anyway, um, that's it. That's all I bought today, and I've got to get all this stuff listed, and I've got to get all this clothes listed um, so that I can buy again, because that's the way it's supposed to work. Um, and then tonight I'm going to make like a, I don't know, eight layer, maybe an eight layer chocolate cake for my dear, dear husband for when he comes home. And um, that's it. That's it. Um, thank you all, as always, for being here. I appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe, comment, love hearing from you. And I appreciate the, you know, the continued support. Um, again, I will be putting out more, more frequent videos as the, the summer progresses and uh, try to keep up with what's going on out there in the reseller community. So... Let me try to remember my sign off again. The dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working and I'll see you the next time.